In this video, we're going to talk about grepping in Vim. We're going to take the results of our grep. We're going to bring them directly into our quick fix list. I'm going to show you how to do this with the stock settings. We're going to adjust our config to make these a little nicer. And then I'm going to show you the plugin I use that's just icing on the cake. So let's jump in. So we're here in a project. We can grep for something like the word cat recursively in this project and we get all these hits. We want these directly in Vim though. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a blank init.lua file. We're gonna load NeoVim using this init.lua and we're gonna load that config as well. So right now you can see we've got nothing set up. So we can use the built-in grep command with the recursive flag, the cat query we're looking for, and the dot to indicate that we wanna start searching in this directory. We get all these hits, we press enter, and we are jumped directly to it. It takes us to this line where we have a hit. We can use C open to open the quick fix list. And what we have here is a buffer that has all of our results from our grep in here. We can hit enter on any one of them and jump this main window directly to it. And we can use C next and C previous to jump between these. This isn't very ergonomic, we're gonna make this better. The first thing we're gonna do is customize the flags being passed to the grep program. So if we use set grep program with a question mark, we can see what our grep program is currently set to. This is the program that when you run the grep command, your query will get passed through. This dollar sign with the star is where your query actually go. So we are gonna set our vim opt grep program to equal grep with an H-R-I-N that's gonna always include a file name. It's gonna work recursively. It's gonna ignore binary files and it's gonna add the line number. We're gonna drop in the query and then we're gonna use the dot to indicate always search from the current working di directory. So we're gonna save that. We're gonna use SO to source this file. And now when we use our grep program, all we need to do is provide the query we're looking for, which in this case is the word cat, we get all of our hits and we get jumped to it. And if we use C open, you can see everything's in the quick fix list. So Vim knows how to populate this quick fix list by using this grep format. And this is a lot to take in, but basically it's a way that Vim can read this string and know where each line, file, character, etc., is. So we're gonna make this a little nicer. We're gonna add a key map in normal mode. We're gonna use our leader GG, and that is going to open our grep program. We're gonna save, we're gonna source, and now when we hit leader GG, all we have to do is type in cat, and we're good to go. We can make this a little bit better by adding in the silent command beforehand source this again, and now when we type in our query, we don't see all that spam. And we can make this even a little bit nicer by adding the C open and then this pipe character, which in the command line mode will execute this command, and if successful, it will execute the next command. If we source this, we do leader GG, we type in our query, we hit enter, and we're taken to the first result, our quick fix list is open, and we didn't see any of that spam. Next, we're gonna add a key map, again, in normal mode, that is going to be for bracket Q, and this is going to be C next with a carriage return. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other direction. And we're gonna source this, do our search again, and now we can use these two handy key mappings that you can hopefully see in my screen key right here that I can easily cycle through these. Now, you might be asking, why do we even want this in our quick fix list in the first place? Well, the first reason we already showed, it's really nice to be able to just jump between all the hits. But what makes this really powerful is that you can use C do to execute a command for every hit in this list. For example, we can just use D for delete, write all, 
We're going to background this. We're going to look at the diff here. And you can see that every line that has this hit, we just deleted. And so this isn't limited to simple commands. You can use normal mode. You can apply a macro. Um, this is really one of those things that gives you next level power when you're comfortable using it. So using the external grep program is pretty cool, but we are going to do a little bit better than that. So we're going to delete that. We're going to exit. We're going to exit this shell. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have rip grep in this shell. We're going to load it back up. And if we use set grep program here, you can see it's using RG with a vim grep flag and UU. The most important thing to understand here is that this vim grep flag is just running rip grep in a way that vim is designed to intake. So now when we do our leader GG, we type in the word cat, it's going to rip grep and notice that we're even getting the column number correct. So now as we cycle through, we're ending up exactly on the word we want. And the last thing I'm going to show you is this plugin vim grepper. It lets you easily use a handful of different grep tools without having to change your config at all. And even better, it gives you an operator so that you can send text to the command as if it were built in. So how it works is it gives you this grepper command, which once you use it, will let you cycle between a few different grep configs. So we're gonna change this to use that. We're gonna source it leader GG. We're at our command here and we can cycle between. So if we search for our query, we are good to go. So we can configure which tools we wanna to have available. And in this case, we just have rip grep and a git grep. And we can use this key mapping so that GS is now our grepper operator. We're gonna save that, source it. And now, for example, if we wanted to grep for the word window, we could use GSIW and there we go. All right, there you have it. Now you know how to grep your whole project send it all to the quick fix list. You know how to configure an external grep program and a nice little plugin so you don't have to. Peace.